Welcome to episode is this 204 of 205 205 of lagging out <laughs> uh, where you have uh, real gamers talking about video games interviewing industry professionals discussing uh, the world of video games nerddom if you will uh, I'm your host funny guy and with me tonight is my other host chieftain zombie killer and sitting in tonight in the great female search female co-host search also is the wonderful always fun Lily Raven so welcome everybody how's everybody doing tonight I'm super fantastic how are you funny guy I'm doing, I'm doing all right I feel... I'm glad that we're finally on yeah I can tell we have a lot to talk fun. about yes how's we do else doing? yes we do how's everybody peachy. else doing peachy peachy how's your weather back east uh, it's been pretty warm, actually, but we're supposed to get snow Tuesday. Yeah, I saw that on MSN today. <laughs> and Lily <laughs> Raven? Yeah, I, I, I read the news. Um, <laughs> and how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's beautiful here in Seattle, believe it or not. The first day of spring, it started getting warmer, and I mean, all the light you see right now is the, the, the sun. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Hey, wow, the sun's still up up there? Wow. Yeah, the sun's sun down here in LA. Out until about 8.30. Ah. Wow. It's amazing. We're, they getting, we're getting gypped out here, and uh, we're getting ripped off in California. <laughs> in more ways than one. Yeah. Thanks yeah. to your governor. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Before we get to the and Combs, you are watching Lagging Out. Thanks for tuning in. And we are going to give a few shouts out to our sponsors. Who are we? We are a game a show about video games and all stuff nerd, science fiction, comic books, cosplay, uh, you know, the stuff that interests the that of the gaming world and gamers. Um, and uh, we interview professionals uh, from the industry. Uh, and, because we are uh, professionals. Other, other types of gamers and stuff. Um, we are sponsored by Gamer Gloves. You can visit them at thegamergloves.com. Stay tuned to the uh, broadcast because we're going to give you a coupon code to save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. And uh, we'll give that to you in a little bit. Also, uh, I want to say a uh, shout out to Cursed Underground Gaming. Would you like to join a fun and competitive gaming community? Then you want to join Cursed Underground Gaming. Cursed Underground Gaming has now hit more than 1,000 members across all different kinds of games. So if you're interested in free form structure or even a pro branch, then look no further. Go to their Facebook page at facebook.com slash cursed underground gaming. Uh, join today and tell them a lagging out sent you. All right. And a special thanks uh, to one of our other affiliates, uh, the Fierce Gaming Females. Now they do support all types of uh, gamers, uh, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. Uh, these ladies do post about it. Check them out on their Facebook page at Fierce Gaming Females, and of course that's facebook.com slash Fierce Gaming Females. Um, and they do like their fans. They do talk to the fans and stuff like that. So go like their page today and participate in that community. And uh, what are we holding up? Oh, um, that's something for later, but... Uh... We're going to be at a convention June 6th through the 8th. Another convention? And, yeah, I'm going to be there. Um, so come by, say hello, I'll take a picture with you. Um, at the Hilton Antol, I cannot say this, whatever that word is right there. Anatoly. Okay. In Dallas, Texas. Um, Flag and Al's going to be there. We're going to have our own booth. So uh, I stop probably by, say hello, get a button. Wrong. Yeah, I, I, I butcher it too, so I... Nice but I'm from the Midwest, so, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I If I dare, I use my computer right now to go look it up, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to spell it. I don't know. I probably butchered it. I'm sorry, Kelton, whatever the name is called. Feel free to weigh <laughs> in on this any time, ladies. Do you, how do you think you should say it? Is it Anatole or Anatoly? I think it's Anatoly. That's what I, I think it is. And that should have, be our trivia question Anatole. this week. The Anatole, that's, I think it's called. That should be our. Who told you what's, that? What's, yeah. 
Okay. The um, Ashley, I lost my train of thought now. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, it's in Google Dallas. It. I know that. that, that oh, fun. So I know there's there's gonna be uh, Patrick Scott Patterson's gonna be there. Uh, Yaya Han, if you got to know who that is, um, she's a big cosplayer, and then there's a bunch of bands and stuff. Rain, um, is gonna be there. J. Michael Tannum, Kyle Herbert, uh, Team Four Star. Scott Patterson, Rachel Laura, which we actually talked to at the last convention. But we will get to that and to the convention pretty soon because I want to talk about the game that no, we're going I, to I talk I want to talk about. about South by Southwest. So you want to talk about South by Southwest? All right, let's do it. Yeah, I thought we could talk about that a little bit. I mean, That was, that was interesting. 48 <laughs> hours of lagging out nonstop, essentially. I was amazed about how many people that knew, actually knew us. They're like they're, they're pointing at me like I know you from somewhere, and I always have that fear when I'm online because I'm always screaming at people. It's like this is the day I get punched in the face. <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah, I know it would be. I awesome. was ready with my camera. I believe me. Like, yeah, had two you, cameras. Funny guy, funny guy was Instagramming like a madman. This yeah, we crazy. do have an Instagram now. Uh, by the way, if you're looking to learn more about lagging out, go to laggingout.com. Or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash lagging out. You're also watching us on Twitch. Uh, that's lagging underscore out on Twitch. Uh, and that's twitch.tv. And uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at lagging out. And on Instagram now at lagging out show. Because somebody took our name. And I guess he thinks we're going to buy it from him. And when we're rich and powerful, we'll take him to court and go get it, I guess. I don't know. He's in the um, United Arab Emirates. Uh, I don't, I, you know what? I don't really care. Lagging out show, like, you know, whatever. Whatever. That to me just tells me that we're going to be big. We're going to be huge. That's well, we better, what that tells we, me. You know what better, I mean? We better get more than four viewers watching us on Twitch and <laughs> actually indicate that we are some sort of, have some sort of popularity. At least it's, we got that right. Right now I'm looking at the Google. I don't know what it is on YouTube. I don't advertise the Google Plus Hangouts. I advertise all the, I all advertise the, the YouTube. stuff now. I do so, it on the YouTube. I do yeah. YouTube uh, we, we, do, we rerun the broadcast. base is a little older. Like, they don't know what Twitch is. So. Whatever. Uh, but I anyway, know, I know what to back to South about. by Southwest... We ran into a lot of people. We actually ran into some people from Rooster Teeth. If you guys didn't see the broadcast, because only 54 of you actually viewed it, thank you. Thank you for those 54. Yeah, 54 people viewed our, uh, our South by Southwest thing. There's, We had more people come to our table than actually viewed the show. That was <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, 640 by 480 is what we broadcast it in, which is awesome because I blew it up to HD just to make it more pixely. Because our quality is so awesome here at Lagging Out, we spare no. Well, experience. now it's good. That's what I don't understand. We shot it with my camera on my computer. Right now the pictures are right. Right. If I knew that, I would have brought my laptop with me because I can I could broadcast in HD in there. But we actually I'm got an interview. Always 2020. We got a lot of cool people uh, who want to be interviewed that are going to, going to come on the show. I think later this year. Right. Um, the very lovely Alexis Valero from Game Insight. She's the PR manager for Game Insight in San Francisco. It's actually a Russian-based company, but they do a lot of app-based games for um, iPhone and Galaxy phones and all types of cell phones. So she's going to be on the show. I and mean, she actually piqued some interest of being a contestant female host for another show. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay. Um, all right. But uh, she, she's interested in that. I don't know. Um, it would be cool to have, like, more people come on, so it's be kind of cool. We have a whole lineup of guests for you guys from industry professionals because we are industry professionals. So we can get people that other shows can't get. We get other people that work on other shows to get on our show because we're so good. So, um, and that's the yeah. whole point of like bringing people on. It's not so much about what it is they're doing. It's more we want to learn about them so that our viewers uh, out there can get a better idea of what it takes to go into go into making, you know, whether it's a cartoon or uh, special effects in a film, uh, you know, working on a game, um, right. you know, kind of kind of give you the inside skinny, you know, because everybody, you know, the one thing I, I wish I would have had something like this as a kid is because it would have given me some place to go and say, hey, wow, that guy's talking about something I'm interested in, so if I can learn what it is I need to go learn in order to do that one day, I can go do that. And, you know, sadly, because I'm the old guy, as everybody likes to point out, we didn't have mediums like what we're doing right now for that matter. Right, I mean, so, how much can you do with more These stuff? are going to be interviews you're going to want to tune in for. And they're coming, <laughs> uh, when do they start? I think next week or the week after. 
We've got right. a lot of interesting people lined up. We also do officially have in my hands one of our prizes for our end of the year giveaway. That's an autographed copy of the February uh, edition of Game Informer uh, with Evolve on the cover, uh, the game that I'm currently uh, working on. That's about all I'm allowed to tell you. Uh, and it is signed by the entire studio. Including myself, right? Me, right there. <laughs> there. Okay, great. Thank you for starting so, your signature. That's that's um, very stimulating TV, right there. So, and that, in addition to that, at the end of the year, we also have now a fifty-dollar Xbox Live card that you can use on your new Xbox One or your old Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Right. Uh, we also have uh, a set of uh, uh, a set of lanyards from the South by Southwest show. You would only get these if you. Uh, were there and Chieftain and I signed those for you and we're working on some other prizes so uh, you might want to just keep tuning in we are on every other Sunday at 7 o'clock Pacific 10 o'clock Eastern Stick of Truth who actually played the Stick of Truth? I just spent the whole weekend playing Stick of Truth and it was it was pretty awesome um, you know, I had been looking for trailers about actual gameplay uh, for weeks and couldn't find anything that looked like an actual gameplay. And I finally rented it and uh, turned it on and started playing. And, of course, I had its little opening scenes and stuff. And then I was sitting there for a minute thinking the game had frozen. But, no, it wasn't frozen. The actual gameplay is exactly like watching an episode of South Park. They did an incredible job. Um, there, I mean, I would give it 99 out of 100 for what, honestly, like, how how not glitchy it was and how smooth everything is, the constantly changing dialogue, um, the turn-based RPG section of it. I mean, I, I was not disappointed by this game in the slightest. It was incredible. It was so much fun. Um, I'm, I'm still playing it. I, I really intended to return it before it aired today. And I, I couldn't. I, I'm probably going to, as soon as we're done, I'm going to go play again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it's great. And, I mean, they they make references to all your favorite South Pork moments. South Pork. South Park. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Like, I have not been in this this impressed with a video game in a long, long time. So how many times do you think you'll be able to replay it? Honestly, you get tired of it. there are four different classes that you could be. Um, and honestly, I've only played one. And me with the Batman games, I mean, like I said, they, I, I go through them like tissue paper. And this one, it's taken me three days. I don't even feel like I'm at the halfway point. Um, when it does come time to replay, you can at least replay it three more times. Um, and honestly, you know, there, there's not, I mean, there's definitely a, a guide to the storyline. Uh, there's not really a way to deviate from it. Um, with the exception of you do end up choosing sides. So honestly, you can probably replay this game eight times without getting bored. Wow. Yeah. And I, I don't want to give away too much, so I'm, I, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, just being pretty general about what I'm stating here. But four different classes, um, you know, two different sides to team with, um, and that actually ends up getting mixed up in the game somewhere, but you could you could easily replay this game eight times without it getting boring. All right, cool. So are you playing it on the 360? Is that I, what you're playing? I, no, I'm playing it on PS3. Okay. So you're playing it on PS3. Are you all the way through it? No, absolutely not. Um, I would say if you were to break it into chapters, I'm probably in the fourth or fifth chapter right now. I'm about a level 10, and I don't know how high you can get level-wise, but, I mean, it's it's pretty, it, it's not the easiest thing in the world to level, so. Okay, is there different difficulty levels on there? Because I didn't get to play it and pick it up yet. So is there different levels of difficulty to play? Yes, and this, assume there is. this is a cool function of this game because you can actually, in the menu, while you're doing gameplay, change your difficulty settings. So let's say you were to take on a boss that was too hard and you didn't want to, like, take the time. Like, I mean, I just, before before the show here, I was took, uh, played a boss that took me 25 minutes to beat. 
And if I had died, I probably would have gone back and, and, and bumped my thing back to easy. Or if you feel like the game is too easy, you can, in the middle of gameplay, jump it up to normal or hard. So you can change the difficulty of the game at any time. It's, it's, it's really cool, like um, the way they have it set up, the menus, uh, the maps, uh, the quests, um, your inventory. It's all easily accessible. It's all, you know, it, it's just, it's not very confusing at all. I mean, they do a really good job of explaining everything. We have a question on Twitch um, asking, what class did you pick? I picked... I, want, I picked the mage, the mage class, okay. um, and this this is my first one. I think the classes are mage, bard, I want to say fighter, and Jew. <laughs> it actually does say Jew, and you have that's that's a reference to one of the shows where they were doing their their little fantasy game, and, or I believe it was like Wow, like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, so it's a reference to being Kyle and and pretty much being a healer. This is the way I kind of can sum up the game. It's kind of like World of Warcraft meets South Park, because they're kind of, like, taking homage to World of Warcraft, and, like, they're turning it into a game, so you're actually playing a TV show. No, no. I mean, no. you're actually playing the TV show, but you're wrong about World of Warcraft. It's more like Final Fantasy. More it's, like Final it's Fantasy. Very much it. like Final Fantasy meets South Park. I love it. I can't say enough about this game. Oh, okay. Can you play? <laughs> can you play? Uh, can you play with a partner? Can you play dual? Uh, dual campaign? I can't remember what it's called now for the life of me. Not that I've noticed so far. I'm sure it's entirely possible, but I haven't had anybody to play with, so it's not something I've explored yet. Oh, okay. See, that would be that would be something that would appeal to me if you can actually play with somebody online and actually get through it with yeah. somebody. It'd be kind of fun. Well, it's very. Oh, wow. Thank you. Couldn't think it, of me. It's very turn-based RPG. Um, I would see where that could be fun, but it's really not necessary. Uh, okay. And how long do you think? How many hours do you think it's going to take you to actually beat it? God, if. I would have to look at look at a synopsis of the game to even figure out how far along I'm in at this point because I mean it seems like I've gotten so far, but with the storyline they have set up, it seems like I have really really far to go. Um, I may be about at the middle, and I would say I've played out of the last three days about 30 hours. Um, so maybe another 30 hours. That would be my best estimate. Wow, so it's a pretty long game, so you're going to get your money's worth. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's totally worth it. Um, I, Like I said, I rented it, um, and, I mean, it, I just, it, it's expensive to rent it the way I did, and, you know, I'm going to have to return it at some point here soon, but it is definitely my next to-buy video game. Nice. Wait, Zombie, did you get to play Titanfall yet, or no? Yeah, I did. It was a lot what, of fun. What would you think about it? Because I've heard from other people saying that Titanfall actually, like, the spawns are, like, people getting pissed off and getting spawn killed and that. But they were also complaining about the battlefield spawns and the goat, the ghost spawns are all just equally as bad. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any complaints about the spawns at the time when I was playing. But that seems to be what people complain about on every game that's out right now. So it doesn't surprise me. I, I had them say, well, maybe you should talk to Funny Guy um, about playing the battlefield spawns because he knows how to play it with the squad really well. But uh, as far as as far as the Titanfall spawns, do you like playing with uh, do you like playing with bot teammates? That sort of thing? How do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. I I don't think that I really thought much about it. Um it's kind of confusing because you get excited and you think, oh shit, I just killed somebody. And it ends up being, <laughs> ends up being a bot, but you got to get used to that. It's a little different. So um, it's kind of, I heard it's kind of like a search and destroy type of game. So you actually get to the end and there's a search and destroy type of uh, setup. Is that true? Uh, once, whichever team wins... Um, I'm trying to think if it was the winning team or the losing team. I think the losing team actually has to run back to their ship 
So they have something like 30 to 60 seconds or whatever to do it. Uh -huh. So um, I don't know if you get like extra scoring if, if you make it or if the whole team makes it. I'm not sure how that worked. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, because you're not going to see me because everything's all jacked up because I got booted from the room. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Nice. What's your back. So that's, this is what you're going to probably get because uh, everything he's like a talking really circle. Slow. And I don't know if I'm even hosting the room anymore. So I don't, I don't know. Um, no idea. Anyway, go on. You were doing fine. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite map on there? On uh, Titanfall. Mm. You know, I'm not sure because I kept playing pretty much the same one over and over and over. Um, it was kind of I'm trying to think what it reminded me of. It's kind of like open grass fields, but the buildings were kind of broken. Uh, what's what's the one on Ghost? The um, it's kind of got like the mining cave. What, oh, what more yeah, is yeah. That one? It kind of reminds me of that map. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have the, I have the shirt on. But um, yeah, I, I'm trying to get through the prestiges on there. But uh, that's so it's kind of like a wide open map. So it's kind of like a battlefield type of like open space with some abandoned kind of like. Do like, you spawn or do you spawn on teammates? Um. Or is it kind of like there's just spawn, much... and spawn wherever? I think you kind of spawn. It's supposed to be over with your team. So you have a specific area that you spawn in, based on the game. Type. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna say it seems like you you would still spawn in some action, but it's not as bad as Call of Duty, like a one shot kill. It could be, but for what that I played, it wasn't that bad. Like I could actually get away and, you know, go take cover. It's more like COD spawns, not like uh, Battlefield 4 spawns. That's what you're saying. Um, probably. <laughs> probably. I only played yeah. Battlefield 4 like a couple of hours oh, one day. Okay. That was it. Oh, okay. It's actually the the spawns are actually better there if you're running with a squad, so it actually works really well. And so, if you would rate Titanfall, what would you rate it? Is it a um, must have? Yeah, I would. I'm gonna go get it. Would you it buy was a that? Lot of fun. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd buy that. <laughs> so, would you, if you were to switch franchises, would you just not play Call of Duty ever again, or would you, would you actually get another Titanfall game after this game? How did it impress you? Um. If you had to pick between the two, if you had to pick between the two, if you were on a desert island. You had I'm kind of getting a little burnt out on Call of Duty. It's the same thing over and over and over. Um, I'd probably go for the Titanfall. Try that for a couple of years. It looks like our Twitch viewers are demanding more Lily Raven. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's we, well, I'm trying to go back and forth. I'm trying to be fair. So, <laughs> so it's just, I'm not I'm not saying that they don't want Zombie Killer, but I'm just saying it's just like they want they want more going back and forth with with actually the two ladies who don't want to see us on actual <laughs> camera. So that that's well, really sure. I'm gonna circle then. Yeah. <laughs> the logo looks good when I'm talking. People are like, "Ooh, what's that logo?" Ooh, I'm gonna buy that on a T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the only game you've been playing? Uh, shoot many robots. I've been playing that. A lot. <laughs> I really have you played that? Into AI. <laughs> what was that? I said I fell face first back into Aeon, so I've been lost in the MMO world for the past two weeks, with the exception of my South Park break. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> You're talking about South Park, do you watch a lot of South Park? Yeah, I do. So you got all the inside jokes, the yeah. kind of references? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward <laughs> to getting my hands on that myself. So uh, I can't remember the character who's got his power is diabetes. I can't remember his name though. Uh, <laughs> Scott, Scott, no. Scott, uh, Scott Pegerson. Yes, he's it, diabetes guy. Isn't it? Every character that's ever been on the show is in that game. Yes. Nice. Except for Chef so far. 
except for Chef so far. That's what I hear from everybody who's playing. Maybe he's like towards the end, a special unlock. Yeah, I'm wondering if they, you're right. I'm wondering if they did something. There's a very like a, there's a very minor shout out to him, but you have to be paying really close attention. Like really, really close. I almost missed it. I would say it's probably advantageous to go back and jump on Netflix and watch all the old episodes. <laughs> I think that's what they want you to do anyway. Like on Comedy Central, they have they have all I don't know 15, 15 seasons up there. Something like that. All every yeah. single episode is on Hulu. Yeah, all it's on Hulu. Right no, no, I've been watching Clone Wars. Clone Wars, yeah, okay. All six seasons of Clone Wars are on Netflix, and uh, I had seen some periodically, like intermittently, and uh, it super duper appeals to me as a Star Wars fan. There's two characters I'd kind of do without. One is like this flamboyant Jabba the Hutt uncle, and of course Jar Jar Binks, but unfortunately this takes place before, between, I guess, episode two and three, and I know Jar Jar shows up in episode three, so unfortunately I will not get to see him be killed. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy actually works on that. Uh, he actually directed one of the episodes for uh, Clone Wars. I just don't know which one he did. The movie was all right. Um, I think that the series is better. I mean, it was on for six seasons, so it had to be good. You know, it's not. It's funny because the lighting is exactly the same as the uh, the Star Wars Lego Star Wars stuff. It's almost like the same type of lighting. And I always thought it was funny because I was working on the Lego Star Wars series for Lego Comics for Lego, and my buddy was actually directing the Clone Wars, and it was like we we're actually almost doing the same thing, except mine was Lego characters running around blasting stuff. And it's amazing how close like the lighting the lighting is and how everything looks. Just the it's like dark, you know. It, they don't move very realistically, but they move. But that's okay. I can accept that when you look at the stylized, the stylization of the art and stuff. Right. Hey, Chief. Now, yeah. How many times have you stepped on a Lego? This is this is um an inside joke <laughs> that I always yell at kids when I'm there online camping. I tell them I hope they step on a Lego. But I guess <laughs> I guess Zombie Killer doesn't feel like talking, and she'll just talk in the chat in our Google Hangouts chat. And won't have the testicular fortitude to actually say it on the mic, but that's fine. Thank you, Lily, for actually being the surrogate for a zombie. So, I'm surprised that she got a breath in. You yeah. two never stop. I, I, it looks like I had a question a while back, and yeah, yeah, you guys just kept steamrolling over that one as usual. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. What was the question? <laughs> what was? Oh, it looks oh, like... oh wow! I didn't know. I didn't see that. Sorry. Um, it says uh, mm -hmm. Lily had to choose one. It, it, it's it's a moot question because the games are so different that there's no way to choose. There are two completely different animals on two completely different systems. There's no way I can pick. Uh, okay. It's a moot question. That's she, why I let go. She, she's she's gonna sit on the fence on that one. The question was. Uh, if you were to choose one, I, was it what's that word? Aeon. Aeon. Aeon or South Park? That was the question. If you had to choose one, that was yeah. a moot point. Yeah. That she was indicating. Two totally different. It's there's no way to pick. Sorry. <laughs> it's like if you wanted to pick the Undertaker at his prime or Hulk Hogan, who would you pick? Undertaker. Yeah. You don't even have to ask that question. <laughs> no, no, fail. <laughs> I think there comes Undertaker, off. Undertaker at his worst could beat Hulk Hogan at his best. Don't even start. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> he could have beat him he's got, he's got the Hulk in bad A days. <laughs> oh, when, he, when, he, when he rode down with the chopper? Yeah. Yeah. With, 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 the, with the ginger hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ginger beard, yeah. Most it's dangerous not, not, ginger on the planet. <laughs> yeah. The seven-foot ginger. And now they, ha now they have another ginger called Seamus. Get a tan. That's his finishing move, not getting a tan. The dude, is, <laughs> the dude is so white, if you're holding up to the light, you can actually see his heartbeat. You know, like those frogs that like they sit on the screen and you can see through them? That's Seamus. This dude is so white. Very opaque. <laughs> Did you know that know. The, the toy company that created the Seamus doll had to create a new color of white so they could actually match Seamus' skin? Oh, my God. Yeah. Usually those... 
That's crazy. I, I get I get zombie killer like texting us in the, in the actual chat in our Google Hangouts here. She's like singing "I'm a Scat Man" in there and like <laughs> kind of distracting. How fast I can talk, right? No, it's completely <laughs> random stuff. I try to get him to break. <laughs> oh, I got you. Computer's running backup. That's why I'm like on my end, everything's all wacky. See, I don't understand that with you. Like every Sunday, it's like that. I thought you turned it off, but apparently not. Is that your laptop or is that your regular? My one and only computer. Uh, okay, that's the one you brought with you. Yes. Okay, I got you. Yes. So, oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which plug am I reading? Uh, the one that's after it says gaming news, fill this section out, funny guy. That's at the, that's at the top of the page. Uh, there's one at the bottom, too. See that. Uh, it's on page two. Okay. Funny guy in orange. Read above. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, like an out media plug. Oh, okay. Don't forget Cobra to follow Commander us. Cobra Commander style. Cobra Commander. We did ask Cobra Commander. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the keyword like it out on Twitch. At TV, <laughs> twitch.tv. <laughs> Lagginout.com, the best podcast you're not watching. You know what? I kind of like that you don't see me, and you, then I can do all these different voices. <laughs> I, I should just do a photo. I kind of like this. I really kind of do. Maybe I should maybe I should mess up more often. That way I could actually get no, you. Don't piss me off. No, that wasn't messed up. That was pissing me off. It was pissed. a mess up. I'm sorry. Let's not, not bring out the antenna, Eric Cartman. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you as a South Park character, and that's gonna be your still image yeah. from now on. With the you're, you're, you're gonna be the funny guy, but you're gonna be the combination South Park. Um, you're gonna be pick, have, like the South Park. Are like that? Just work it into the logo. Yeah. What I'll do is actually I'll put it in. I'll put it you actually, as the South Park yeah, character. And the character that I made on off their website. I don't think you can use that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on a yarmulke and have you a little scarf, and then oh. have and then and then have you hiding cigarettes. Oh boy. No. I'm in <laughs> no the process secret. of quitting smoking. That's good though. That's awesome. So I'm using a vaporizer. I'm using it much like someone would use the patch. The vaporizer. Well, I'm using it for like a that. combination of the patch and like this pill that I took years ago. But um now if you can only get I've, it I've cut back playlists. tremendously, we'll say that. What's like an old drug that they don't use anymore, like uh opium or something? It's like it's yeah. it's, it's just like a, it's, they say it's more addictive than, than like heroin or crack, and I'm glad I never was curious about those because i got to tell you, um, quitting smoking is a tough thing. I've been smoking a long time. So. Now, now, we, now we just have to get you to the gym, and you're good to go. No, I don't need to go to the gym. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah you got to go to the gym. I blew out my back yesterday. Going, I was shrugging 405, and I sprained my back. So it's it's hard for me to concentrate and keep a conversation, and I can't think right because I'm in a lot of pain right now. So <laughs> I actually have a back brace on. So it's just like Stop it's a basic it's a heavy weights. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. It was I, I did something stupid there. It's just, have you ever heard the old joke, hey man, does it hurt when you do this? Yeah. Well stop don't do doing that. that. Yeah. To uh, thegamergloves.com, use the coupon code lagging out. That's L A G G I N O U T and you'll save 15% on your next, uh, is it total purchase or just one pair? I don't know. I, I think, think it's, it's, it's one pair. I think pair. it's 15% on uh, one pair on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. You have been watching Lagging Out. We've had some serious lagging out going on tonight. <laughs> but it wasn't uh, this time. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> for once, it was, it was not Lily. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And you want to take it away? Yeah, game over, bitches! Like